Argonaut Games plc was a British video game developer, founded in 1982 and liquidated in late 2004, with the company ceasing to exist in early 2007. It was most notable for the development of the Super NES video game Star Fox and its supporting Super FX hardware. Topic history Founded as Argonaut Software by teenager Jez San in 1982, the company name is a play on his name J. San and the mythological story of Jason and the Argonauts. Its head offices were in Collindale, London, and later in the Argonaut House in Edgware, London. Its U.S. head office was in Woodside, California in the San Francisco Bay Area. The company produced its first game, Skyline Attack, for the Commodore 64. It later produced the 3D Starglider games for the Amiga and Atari Street platforms. In 1993, Argonaut collaborated with Nintendo during the early years of the NES and SNES, a notable incident being when Argonaut submitted a proof-of-concept method of defeating the Game Boy's copyright protection mechanism to Nintendo. The combined efforts from both Nintendo and Argonaut yielded a prototype of the game Star Fox, initially codenamed Nesglider and inspired by their earlier Atari Street and Amiga game Starglider, that they had running on the NES and then some weeks later on a prototype of the SNES. Jez San told Nintendo that his team could only improve performance or functionality of the demonstration if Nintendo allowed Argonaut to design custom hardware to extend the SNES to have true 3D capability. Nintendo agreed, so San hired chip designers and made the Super FX chip. They originally codenamed it the Mathematical Argonaut Rotation I.O., or Mario, as is printed on the chip's surface. So powerful was the Super FX chip used to create the graphics and gameplay, that they joked that the Super NES was just a box to hold the chip. After building the Super FX, Argonaut designed several different chips for other companies' video game machines, which were never released. This includes the following, the machines codenamed Greenpeace and CDI2 at Philips, the platform codenamed Veggie Magic at Apple Inc., and Hasbro's virtual reality game system, codenamed Matriarch. In 1995, Argonaut Software was split into Argonaut Technologies Limited ATL and Argonaut Software Limited ASL. With space being a premium at the office on Collindale Avenue, ATL was relocated to an office in the top floor of a separate building. The building was called Capitol House on Capitol Way, just around the corner. There, they continued the design of CPU and GPU products and maintained Brender, Argonaut's proprietary software 3D engine. They won a chip design project with LSI Logic for a potential PlayStation 2 design. LSI Logic became a minor investor in Argonaut. In 1996, John Edelson was hired as the company general manager. John Edelson ran the group for two years. Capital was raised in 1996 to 1998 from Tom Teichman and Apex Partners. In 1997, the two arms of the company once again shared an office as the entire company was moved to a new building in Edgware. In September 1997, Croc: Legend of the Gobos was released by Fox Interactive for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn. A PC version of the game was also later released in 1998. In 1998, ATL was rebranded ARC after the name of their main product, the Argonaut Risk Core, and became an independent company spun off to the same shareholders. ARC was an embedded IP provider. Bob Terwilliger was engaged as the president. Argonaut Software Limited became Argonaut Games and was floated in 1999. In late October 2004, Argonaut Games called in receivers David Rubin and Partners, laid off 100 employees, and was put up for sale. Lack of a constant stream of publishing deals had led to cash flow issues and a profit warning earlier that year. In 2005, the company entered liquidation and it dissolved in early 2007. Topic: <inaudible> Brender. Brender, abbreviation of Blazing Renderer is a development toolkit and a real-time 3D graphics engine for computer games, simulators, and graphic tools. It was developed and licensed by Argonaut Software. The engine had support for Intel's MMX instruction set and it supported Microsoft Windows, MS-DOS and PlayStation platforms. Support for 3D hardware graphics accelerator cards was added. Software made with Brender includes Carmageddon, Croc, Legend of the Gobos, FX Fighter, I War, and 3D Movie Maker. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Games developed. Skyline Attack 1984, Commodore 64. Alien 1984, Commodore 64. Starglider 1986. Starglider 2 1988. Days of Thunder 1990, Atari Street, Amiga. Race Driven 1992, Atari Street, Amiga, ported from the arcade game. ATAC 1992 PC CDROM Birds of Prey 1992 Amiga X 1992 Game Boy Star Fox 1993 SNES Assistance in Programming King Arthur's World 1993 SNES Vortex 1994 SNES Stunt Race FX 1994 SNES Assistance in Programming Creature Shock 1994 PC CDROM Ren and Stimpy Fire Dogs 1994 SNES FX Fighter 1995 PC CDROM Alien Odyssey 1995 PC CDROM Star Fox 2 1996 released in 2017 SNES FX Fighter Turbo 1996 PC CDROM Scooby Doo Mystery 1996 SNES Croc Legend of the Gobos 1997 PC PS1 SAT Buck Bumble 1998 N64 Croc 2 1999 PC PS1 Star Wars Math Jabba's Game Galaxy 2000 Microsoft Windows The Emperor's New Groove 2000 PC PS1 Alien Resurrection 2000 PS1 Red Dog Superior Firepower 2000 DC Disney's Aladdin in Nasira's Revenge 2000 PC PS1 Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone 2001 PS1 Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in the US Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Secrets, 2002, PS1, Bionicle, Matteran Adventures, 2002, GBA, Bionicle, 2003, GameCube, PC, PS2, Xbox, iNinja, 2003, GameCube, PC, PS2, Xbox, SWAT, Global Strike Team, 2003, PS2, Xbox, Carve, 2004, Xbox, Catwoman, The Game, 2004, GameCube, PC, PS2, Xbox, Power Drome, 2004, PS2, PS2, Xbox, Malice, 2004, PS2, Xbox. Topic: Cancelled games. Bionicle, City of Legends, 2004, Xbox, PS2. I Ninja 2, 2004, PS2, Xbox, GameCube. Zero Hour, 2004, PS2, PSP. Cash on Delivery, PS2 Canon, PC